Yatre, she a amber lin la bahi in the shea, ki an inchlin, tangic in the bushes chin, tkotik onje dasha che, tkotoni dasha nale. I live in Wipoel, Arizona on my father's side, which is located on the Navajo Reservation. We use the medicine peyote and we attend what is now known as Aze Benahaga of Dene Nation, formerly known as Native American Church. My family has always approached this medicine with respect. However, media portrays peyote as a drug or a substance that gives off a high. And so it needs to be understood by non-indigenous people that it is disrespectful to me, to my people, and other native relatives. Which is why I want to share my personal story of how peyote provided me, my family, and most importantly, my Nali lady or paternal grandmother, Alice Bahi, the comfort and support we needed when my father passed away from COVID-19 in June 2020. My name is Alice El Bahi. We eat peyote to pray for ourselves, our family, and the land. Ultimately, to heal physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Peyote is a living entity that allows us to gather together and gain strength throughout the night that we chose to have a ceremony. You're just this individual person at that time and place, and it tells you that whatever you've experienced is going to be okay. And so peyote helps us collectively come together to feel those emotions and to just cry about it if you need to, because if you hold in something for so long, it just builds up and it hurts you even more. My parents just said, you know, you should take at least a bit of it so that it recognizes you and that you recognize it for the future and that, you know, when you grow up, the peyote will understand where you're coming from and who you are as a person. My father is no longer with me and my family on this land, but I am beyond blessed with the family that he gave me. Who are my nollies, my siblings, my mom, and I am left with his comforting words of guidance. Before my dad passed away, he would tell me that no matter where I traveled, I would always be home. I could pray to the water and the sky, and 
Now I'm realizing that he was my home. Once I take that peyote, I'm reminded of the home that he gave me. A home where I belong. A home where I can feel me again. Where I'm not alone. A home that reminds me of my dad.